we're going to bring to you another episode of Lego Quick Hits. And this one we're going to talk about the Lego hunt. The never-ending Lego hunt. Guys, you like me in every store you go in. I don't care if I go into a dollar store or a Walmart or a Target or a Dirt Cheap. I don't care where I go. I, I'm always up and down the toy aisles. If I go to a bookstore, I'm looking for the toys. Because I'm always looking for that Lego deal that... I don't want to be the guy who walks in and walks out and misses it. Somebody tells me about it or I hear about it elsewhere. If there's a Lego deal out there, I want to be the one to find it. Now that's obviously not always the case. But doesn't it make you feel special when you walk in and, and you see something that you're like, Man, I just picked all these poly bags up for a dollar. It makes you feel good because you got such a great deal. That's what I'm talking about, the Lego hunt. I don't care. if I might go in 10 stores and, and not buy anything. And then when I get to that 11th store, I might find a, the CMFs and find a Lego cop. And it just feels, it makes you feel good because it's like success. Even though I don't need this Lego cop because I've already got a bunch of them, I just found another one. And it makes you feel like you won something. I don't know what I won. I'm still waiting for my prize. Every day I go to the mailbox and nothing. But... I sure feel like I won something because I got such a great deal or I found something I had been looking for even if I didn't know I was looking for it. I went into a dirt cheap one time. I'm always in dirt cheap and I'm always up and down the toy aisles. And if you're familiar with dirt cheap, there's a lot of salvage in there. So I would tell you probably 50% of what they get in is damaged. Some of it is returned and some of it is just it may have got stepped on in the shipping process or the box got crushed and there's nothing wrong with it except it has a damaged box. But I walked in there one time, and there was the, the Lego Ideas, the Saturn Rocket. And it was, all the Lego was, I think it was 50% off, or it might have been 40% off. So it was 40% off, and the box was smashed a little bit. So I opened it up, because they let you do that in dirt cheap. And I pulled all the bags out, I googled it to see how many bags it was supposed to have. All the bags were there, the instructions were there, the instructions were in pretty good shape. So I picked that thing up, and it, it was at least 40% off. It might have been 50% off. Man, you talk about feeling good about yourself. It felt good to find something like that. That's what I'm talking about, guys. What are your stories? Leave me some comments below. The never-ending Lego hunt. What have you found that you just least expected it, but because you were always looking for a good deal or you were looking for something that you didn't have? You know, maybe you go into a Walmart and you see a set on the shelf that is like two years old or three years old, or maybe it's a retired set that's four years old, and it just strikes you as, that does not belong here, let me go scan it. And it scans like half price. You just stumbled upon it and you got a great deal. It's just you walk in there and you know something's not right and you go scan it and you end up getting a pretty good price on it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Give me some examples of your Lego hunts. What have you found? What are some good things that you've walked out of the store and like you felt good about yourself because you got such a great deal or you found something that was old or retired that you never thought you would have. Leave me some comments below guys. As always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate the support and until the next one, we will talk again. <laughs>